Hey everyone, just wanted to shoot a quick video, tell you um, some exciting news that happened all because of this truck. We were in Daytona. I drove to Daytona and parked this truck in long-term parking. Flew home to Oklahoma to help Scott with the ice storm damage and getting packed and get every, everything down here. <laughs> Got paint on my face. I've been painting. <laughs> I should have probably cleaned up before I did this video. Uh, Scott mentioned the trailer and I googled up the nearest uh, trailer just to go look at them and see a ballpark price. So we pulled into this place. Think about the best, best price uh, car service and trailers. Huh? I don't know what that was. Uh, anyway, the best service cars and trailers, I believe. We in and we're visiting with them, and just turns out that they actually know how to work on this truck and if anybody has ever had this truck or um is has heard our stories finding mechanics that can work on this truck is it's not an easy thing because it is way bigger than a regular pickup chassis and so regular mechanic shops cannot lift it they can't handle the size of it well, if you go to a semi shop, they're so busy with semis, you know, they really don't have this mid-size truck stuff. You go to a fleet service place and they are so booked up with contracts with fleet, like OG, you know, uh, power company trucks or cherry picker trucks that have multiple trucks of the same size. They can't work in the single man, you know? And so just finding a mechanic, is, it's just a hard thing for this truck. Um, you know, when you need little things done. Well, the service engine light had been on, so we wanted to get it checked. Uh, turns out that this place where we stopped for the trailers, the owner had a truck similar to this, um, a couple of years different, um, and they knew everything about this truck. They helped us out, figured out it was one little wire that hadn't been uh, plugged in properly when we had the compressor changed out. And so no big deal, it, you know, it was, it was, great to find out that it wasn't a bad thing. Sitting with the owner, uh, his name is Robin. Um, he's a good Christian man. Uh, he shook Scott's hand and said, don't worry about it. Blown away that anybody does that anymore these days because, you know, I know people growing up that are my age and older, they remember those days where it was something simple like that. No, don't worry about it. Just, you know, just remember us next time when you have something else, you know, going on. Not anymore. Usually they're, they're billing you for every hour, every minute. They use a screwdriver. They're going to bill you for that. You know, you know, those days of a handshake. Hey, no big deal. Don't worry about it. Those days are gone. It was just very kind. Another sign for us that we are meant to be here in Florida doing this mission. One of his mechanics is like a turnkey remodeling guy. Anyway, it was good to make that contact and somebody that can come out and we don't have to hire several people to do, you know, a remodel on one little uh, building. We can, you know, have one person come out and do it all. And it's, that was a blessing to find that guy. Well, I casually asked, do you happen to know of a used appliance dealer or like a scratch and dent dealer? He put me in contact with the people at John's uh, ABC in Daytona. They found a dishwasher that has the sanitizing feature on it. They happen to have one that actually, it, it's a portable one. So we don't have to have a plumbing person come out or a plumber come out or an electrician come out right away. Uh, it'll just plug into the regular 110 and we can hook it right up to the faucet on the sink that we already have in there and we are good to go. It's perfect. It was exactly what we needed. Well, Robin kindly offered to deliver it to us. So Robin delivered it to us this morning and I'm going to show you uh, that dishwasher uh, right now, and I'm gonna come back and talk to, you, talk to you about it in just a minute. Okay, so I was telling you about the dishwasher. 
uh, that we're super excited about. And this is the dishwasher. It's a GE. It does have the sanitizing boost. And as you can see, it's brand new. Whoop. <laughs> There's styrofoam in there. Can't get it out. <laughs> anyway, we have not unpackaged it yet, so we'll get to that. But anyway, it's brand new. And here is the back. So on wheels, that's really nice. But this hooks up to the sink. This goes, the faucet goes in here and then it drains here. And then this is the plug. Sure. And you know what this is for? Washer. I, we've got a washer. <laughs> you don't realize how much you love a washer until you don't have one. <laughs> so anyway, this is the new hot water heater that Scott is putting in. We're gonna uh, install that right there. Uh, this big vat right here uh, is on its way moving. It's moving. So right now it's, if you can see, this is the, the sink, uh, wall with the sink right there. We are taking care of that like in the next day or two. So don't panic. <laughs> see how nice and pretty this wall is over here. We just repainted that and, and re it and finished it. And we're going to paint the floor. Um, this whole wall will look just like that corner in a matter of probably a day or two. Anyway, this corner back here, we've already painted that. Uh, we actually painted the floor underneath it as well. Um, this vat right here will be moving right here where this shelf is in the middle of the wall right here. So it will it will come out right here pretty big. It's it's pretty big guy. So he'll be right here. We're gonna put this shelf on my new pretty wall here. Uh, we're gonna get an electrician out to move this wiring up out of the way and the dishwasher will probably stay right right here where, where we have it right now um, we've got to get a plug installed for it right over here but the reason why we're moving this vat here is because our intention is to put a washer and dryer here on this wall uh, here so that we can This is what happens when you try mowing the yard and things are buried in the sand. Just didn't even see it. It was totally buried in the sand. So I gotta get under here and undo this. got it off. Can you believe this? This thing was totally buried in the sand and the lawnmower spit it up and <laughs> got it all wrapped up in the blade. That's a day. It's just exciting to keep, um, what do I want to say? Running into or people being put in our path that are as excited as we are about this honey stand and willing to help in ways that we really thought, Scott and I had kind of thought, were a thing of the past, you know? And I just can't 
I, I'm getting chills right now thinking about it, how, um, how we are just being so blessed with this. And, and it's not over. We're just starting. Anyway, that is the end of our, this, my video today. Uh, until the next time, you all know I love you. Take care. Stay safe. Um, hug your loved ones. Love you. Bye-bye.